Oh, it's so good to be free. Hi everyone and welcome back to the Homestead Challenge. I'm just going to admit it. I'm not the most sustainable girl in the world. But I have come a long way. Oh, I'm free as as me. So if you've ever watched any videos on YouTube about sustainability, you might have seen people who only make enough trash in a year to put it on a mason jar and that is it. That's not really realistic for me and my family and I don't think that it's realistic for a lot of people. So today I want to show you some tips on things that you can do realistically, even with a family and kids, in your kitchen to start your sustainability journey today. So we all have to start somewhere and sustainability for me is actually what I started before even started thinking about homesteading. So before I really knew what the word meant or before I incorporated other practices into my life, I started on a sustainability journey and I started right here in the kitchen. So actually in the kitchen, a lot of your sustainability can come from food, but that's going to be a whole separate video because there's a lot to cover there. Today we're just going to be talking about a few product swaps that I think that any family can make. So if you would like to see more sustainability content and perhaps a video on sustainable food options, then please give this video a thumbs up and that will let me know that you want to see more sustainability content. And while you're there, hit that little subscribe button and the notification bell in order to be notified anytime that I make a new video. Let's just get into it. So I'm going to be honest, a lot of these swaps aren't really earth shattering. And if you've actually been on any type of sustainability journey at all, you may have heard of a lot of these, but you might not have incorporated them yet, or might not have thought it was possible for your family. And stay tuned to the end for two tips that I think maybe you haven't heard of before. So one of the first steps that I made was reusable paper towels. I've had these for several years now and I absolutely love them. I do actually still have regular paper towels though. We just hide them. So. I have these little guys. I actually get them from the same place that we get our toilet paper, which is who gives a crap. And so they're made out of recycled material, but we hide them. So we only use them when we are in dire need. Like if something is truly disgusting or there's a giant spider, that kind of thing. Otherwise, we are cleaning up any daily messes with our paper towels. And here's a little disclaimer. Do not just go out and buy reusable paper towels. You probably have a ton of rags. So your first step, Hide your paper towels, only use them if you really need them, and just start using washcloths. Don't go buy new ones until yours need replaced. So there's like a myth that with the paper towels, it's actually less water used because you're not using your washing machine all the time. But that is simply not true. In the production of paper towels, there is so much more water used than just one load in your washer, especially if you're using a full load in your washer and if you have a washer made in like the last 10 years then you're definitely using significantly less water by just washing your own at home. Along with the cloths, a lot of people that have kids, you know, need to wipe the kid off after every single meal. So we use just these rags and I always have them in a little bucket ready to go. So we use one after every single meal. They're a little bit softer and I never put cleaning products on them because I felt a little bit weird about wiping my kid's face with cleaning products even if they're washed, I don't know why. So we use these and actually I learned this tip from Lisa at the farmhouse on Boone. You don't even need to fold your towels. I fold my other towels, but I don't even know why. This is so much easier. You just throw them all in there, put them in a cute little basket. It looks nice and you don't need to fold them. So like I said, please don't just go out and buy new things because that's actually the opposite of sustainability. It can be really fun to buy all of the green products and I fell into this trap at the beginning too where you want to buy all of the sustainable stuff to be more sustainable. <laughs> that really doesn't make sense. So only buy things when you need to replace what you already have, or if you find like a major need for something. Always remember, first reduce, then reuse what you have, then recycle it. So after my addition of the reusable paper towels, I actually went with kind of a plastic free journey, I guess, in the kitchen. So we really don't have much plastic anymore. And that's not to say that I think plastic is a terrible thing. I think that if, you know, storing cold things in plastic is fine, I just don't like heating plastic because that is when more chemicals can actually leak out of the plastic. So when your things need replacing, then you can go ahead and buy glass storage containers, 
um, glassware, plates, all that kind of thing. Our favorites are the Pyrex glassware. They do have a plastic lid, but I don't use that in the heating at all. I take the lid off. And honestly, they're so much easier to clean than the plastic kind. So there's really no reason not to use them. So along with the glass storage containers, a lot of people buy these stasher bags. And we do really like these, and I think I'll use them more when my kid starts going to school and needing me to pack lunches. But for now, we mostly use the glass Pyrex, and then we also use the beeswax wraps. So this is a beeswax wrap, and you just use it like plastic wrap, which I do not use anymore for anything. I often cover like baked goods and things with this when they're out on the counter, and you just use it like saran wrap. It's the same thing. So easy to use and really easy to clean. Obviously, since I'm not using plastic in my kitchen, we don't use plastic water bottles. No offense, but why are you still using plastic water bottles? Stop. <laughs> there are so many cute water bottles that you could use instead. So they're cuter and they're better for the environment. So why not use them? We use our Alexa Pure water filter here because our tap water is really hard and we don't like to drink it. So we filter our water and just put it right into our glasses or into a water bottle. So along with not wanting to kind of leach chemicals into our foods with the plastic free, we've also gone to silicone for many things. Um, that way there's no waste involved and there's no, you know, just depending on what you're using, chemicals or anything leaking in. So we have these silicone baking cups that you can use for anything, cupcakes, muffins. And then we also have a bunch of different sizes of the silicone mats instead of using disposable foil every time. Sorry, mine looks disgusting. I use these a lot. So along with going chemical free, I started making a lot of my own cleaners. This seemed like it was gonna be really time consuming, but honestly counter spray or you know whatever you use to spray the counter is what I use most and it takes like three seconds to make it. So this is definitely something that's doable for any family. So I just make it in a jar and it sets for a couple of weeks and then I transfer it over to my spray bottle and I use this several times a day, every single day. This particular um, mixture here, I actually have a recipe for on the blog. So I will link that in the description box below. I also have two other cleaners on there. So I have a scrubbing paste that's really good for the stove. And then I also have over there a toilet bowl cleaner, but this is by far my favorite recipe. So super easy to make, takes two seconds, rids your home of chemicals. It is vinegar based though. So if you have a natural stone countertop, you're going to want to stray away from this one or any vinegar products because it is pretty harsh and it will take off the finish of your like granite and stone countertops. So even if you don't want to make your own cleaning supplies, you can actually buy things in bulk to refill. So I don't always make all of my own cleaning supplies. I definitely don't make my own soap. This is hand soap. I just buy it in a big container and then pour it in. I do the same with my dish soap and actually some of my other cleaners as well. You can buy them in concentrate form and then you just have to add some water and you can use them in your reusable glass bottles. Okay, so you're ready for the two tips that you might not have heard before? You may have, but these are actually things that I didn't know and when I told my husband, he didn't know either. So along with the water use, actually using your dishwasher, especially if it's a newer dishwasher, especially if it's high efficiency, that's going to use a lot less water than hand washing your dishes. We actually do both here, but it makes me feel a little bit less bad about using the dishwasher. If you have a gas stove like us, then when you are trying to boil water or something, if you have the flames going over the side of the bowl, that is actually wasting gas. And I don't really understand it as a cooking principle, but it's not good for cooking. And it'll actually make things take longer. So make sure that your flame is never going above the outside of your pot or pan. So these swaps are actually really easy. And if you make them over time, they're really not very expensive. You can even make things yourself like the rags, reusable paper towels. I wish I could sew. Hopefully that's something that I'm going to be learning this year and we'll have right here on the channel. We will see, but so easy. I mean, you can make the beeswax wraps yourself too. It's a fun craft you could do with your kids. All of these things are things that I have done in my household that I really don't feel like take up that much extra time or anything for us to do. And they are things that we use almost every single day. So just these little things I think can make a big impact, even though 
They're not really earth shattering. It's nothing really new, but some of us just kind of need the leap to actually get started on these things. So I'm really challenging you. Pick one thing that you wanna do that you haven't done yet. Incorporate it into your routine this week. Like if you are still using paper towels every day, hide them, put them in a closet, put them under the sink, hide them. And start using washcloths for everything. I promise it's not that bad. All right, so these are all a few simple changes that you can make today to start on your sustainability or your homesteading journey. I really think that they're simple. Let me know in the comments below what you plan on doing this week to start your journey. Can you tell I'm kind of a nerd about this? I'm apparently a little bit of a nerd about this. And like I said, I'm not perfect, obviously. You can see some things in my kitchen that are not great. You've probably seen me do these things before. And I know it's definitely a journey. So we're not going to be able to just do all of these things overnight and that's okay. There are so many things that we can do and any little thing that we can do helps. So don't feel like you don't wanna just make one change because you don't think it's gonna make a difference. Every single change we make will make a difference. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a little bit of something today. Perhaps one of these tips was new for you, but if not, I hope that it encourages you that you can do this even if you have a family no matter what your situation is you can make at least one of these changes i know you can so definitely let me know what you're going to do and as always please like comment and subscribe and if you'd like to see daily inspiration on sustainability homesteading and that kind of thing go over and check me out on instagram at Brittany l gibson see you next time friends oh it's so good to be free your rules don't apply to me, no. I blow away all the pressure to measure up to what don't mean.